into Studio C. Traden Christensen, Jared McGregor, and Hao Dong. <laughs> and you can sit over here now. Yeah. yeah. Right, so oh good boy. to see you. Hao, how are you? Super scared. Super scared. Good cool. to see you again. Uh, here we go. <laughs> We've got, oh, yeah. We've got props. We've got props. You guys are set perfectly. Thanks for coming in. Yes, sir. All three of you. Yep. Um, I think we're going to get to what this is all about. But yes. uh, can we? Can we? Please. I'd like to. I'd just like to do this because <laughs> this is super important. I would like to get a ruling on the shoe game of each of these guys. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So, wow. so if you think Sha if you think Howe has got the best shoe game, will you give it up for Howe, please? Okay. So TC has already conceded. He he was clapping for Howe. Okay. <laughs> if you if you think J Max got some pretty sweet, can you give it up for J? Oh, I got nothing for J Max. Come on. <laughs> that, J Max, you're done. All right. What about TC? Can I get some love? Nope. Nope. Right off the get-go, how is a winner? How is bringing it? How yeah. is a winner? How is bringing it? Well, uh, Coach may want this to go a different direction, and it's his show. He might just take <laughs> control of this thing. But um, could each of you uh, describe in maybe a brief fashion your journey to BYU? What got you to BYU? Your playing past and what brought you here? How we'll start with you. Yeah, I was uh, born in Beijing, China, and I played. Uh, I went to Spain when I was uh, 12, 13 years old. Um, two years ago, I came here to play my last year of high school in uh, Herman, Utah, Real Salt Lake Academy. Uh, so I, I love the Utah and just trying to um, find, uh, trying to play basketball in Utah. And BYU just have this environment, like, uh, this crazy environment and this like the fan base. I just, I just love when I, when I just came here for the first game. Okay, that's the house story. Yeah. J-Mac. Uh, so last year, uh, I spent the year as a manager and um, it's always been a dream of mine to play at BYU and um, worked hard over the summer and uh, there was a spot open and yeah, got, got to be on the team this year. Back in the day you played at Westlake High School. I did. Back in the day you played at Westlake High School. Yes, sir. What's your story? So yeah, out of Saratoga Springs, me and Jamie and I played at Westlake together in high school. Um, and then I went, went out to Snow College um, in Ephraim and then after two years there went out to Chaminade in Honolulu. Hopefully. Division two school? Yep. Yep. Played in the Maui Invitational a couple, and then, yeah, came on over here. Okay, what do each of these three guys mean to you, Coach Yeah, Pope? I'm going to take yeah. a shot at each of these guys <laughs> filling some of the story. So, how will you talk to us about, first of all, leaving home to go play in Spain, and then what happened to you in Spain before you came here? It's a pretty uh, incredible story. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, I did. I was in the game, so I was trying to uh, dunk, and then I didn't grab the rim. I felt like right into the floor, and then I had this intense internal bleeding like didn't like really hurt that much kept kept playing and then when the game finished i passed out because i was losing way too many blood uh just go get surgeries and and just yeah able to play basketball again how long were you in the hospital it's about like one two months a couple months in the hospital mm. and i don't i don't know anybody that loves basketball more than how does is that fair to say yeah. he loves who but he's been so incredible on our team, what's your record in pregame speeches? 2-2 uh, two, two right now. 2-2. Two two. Okay. <laughs> right. Do you okay. start off 2-0? Oh? Do you yeah. start off 2-0? Oh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then J-Mac, um, I'm super curious if he kept count. How many times did I tell you over the last two years that there is no chance you would ever make it on this team as a walk-on? Oh, triple digits. Got to be close. <laughs> Got to be close. And so why did you keep going? I don't know. I just... Just a dream. I don't know. Just since day one and all my friends were on the team last year. And I don't know. It's just I feel like I, I had to do it. And, you know, if I if I worked hard and didn't make it, I could live with the result. But just, one of my favorite moments this season. Uh, who were we playing against? Uh, when I got in Make that corner three. Western Oregon. We're playing against Western <laughs> Oregon. And so, like, I'm in, intimately familiar with with J Max path because it was so challenging. And, um, and I kept telling him no, and he kept showing up at the gym every day anyway. <laughs> and so 
the, 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 the look of pure pride and satisfaction and like joy, but it was very understated, but just that wash over his face. He checked into the game, came right in the game, banged a corner three, the crowd going wild, him running back in transition. And it was just like, it, it, was, it was a pretty epic moment because all he had been told for years, but there was no chance he would ever get a chance to put on this uniform and go out and play in a game and make shots. And he just hung in there and hung in there. And hung. It was awesome. Incredible. Incredible. How has scored in games? J-Mac has scored in games. Trading has scored in games. What about TC? TC, okay, will you tell us your positional history as a basketball player? <laughs> um, yeah, so high school, I was, I was like a small forward, power forward. Yeah. Um, went to snow and was hardly playing when I was a small forward. And then he put me in at point guard. <laughs> and then I started the rest of my two years there. Played point guard at snow. Went out to Chaminade, played point guard, came here and Playing the five. He's our center. <laughs> it's so fantastic. And has actually had unbelievable performances uh, in some huge games and really helped us off the bench. So these guys are incredible. He can play every position on the floor. So uh, we talked about no one loves uh, basketball more, more than how. Maybe mo nobody loves shoes more than Traden. So Traden Christensen, this is not, this is not a, you know, this, this is like an open secret. He's a shoe dog. He is big time into shoes and shoe collecting yeah. and, uh, how many pairs do you currently have that you, that you uh, claim possession of? Yeah, um, I've kind of I've shortened it down a little bit. I've made it a little fewer pairs lately, um, but I'm probably still around like 30, 30 something. Do okay. you want to explain why you reduced your shoe count? <laughs> My wife is pregnant, so <laughs> I got a little, a little man on the way. Yes. Um, preparing. Yeah. We, uh, we might have somebody on staff uh, that, that will allow us to maybe have a bit of a visual display of some of the things that uh, Traden has accumulated over the years. Uh, of course, we got the ones that you're wearing. Yeah. You proud of these? I'm proud of these. I mean, they're not too crazy, but they're limited. Travis Scott, Jordan 1s, nothing too crazy, but they're cool. And you, do, and you, and you said you have particular respect for Hows? I do respect Hows. I, like <laughs> I got a big smile at Travis Scott right here. No? OK. All right. Fair <laughs> Jared, uh, the helmet. Yeah, the helmet. So, one thing, I love snowmobiling. I'm a big snowmobiler, um, and so that's, I don't know, kind of why I brought it to. Is this oh, you in action? This is me in action. <laughs> Buried. Is this recent? When was this, you know? This was last year. Okay. This was last year. Have you been out this year? I have been out a couple times. Does Coach know uh, you've been out a couple times? <laughs> I was. <laughs> it was. Please don't ask me that question. <laughs> Yep, but yeah, I've been out a few times just on uh, off days when teams on the road, go out with my brothers and mess around in the powder. So seems like he knows how to handle himself out there on that just, thing. As long as he's not taking how with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how needs to avoid the risk taking situations. Uh, how you are one of five international players on this BYU team right now. In fact, BYU is one of only uh, nine schools nationally with five or more international players. Uh, so who are all the internationals? You got uh, you got you got Howe in China, you got Rudy in mm -hmm. Canada, yep. you got uh, Gideon Nigeria, you got Atiki Tanzania, yep. and Fus from Mali. Yep. And there's uh, look at that. We got uh, you all represented up there. Picture, yeah. yeah. Is that is that a big deal to have guys from different countries uh, on the team with you? Uh, yeah, just incredible. And represent China. And this by you. Um, Howe always says that he has way more fans in his country than any other guys have in their country. <laughs> <laughs> True, yes? Yeah. Who, uh, how, of all five guys, which of you is the toughest? Oh. <laughs> They're all watching, so <laughs> <laughs> answer maybe, carefully. Maybe G. You said G. He yeah. went with the super senior. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Before we break, Jared, I'll have you speak for the, the trio here and for the guys that are practicing this week. What do you hope to uh, see and have accomplished, uh, not, not just this weekend against San Francisco, but then the week ahead and hopefully week longer into Las Vegas after that? Yeah. Um, well, every time we step in the gym, we talk about just getting better every single day. And, um, you know, obviously there's, there's still a lot of work to be done. And we're, we're excited for the game on Saturday and uh, looking forward to the tournament and, you know, looking to win the whole thing. Okay. You guys stay where you are. Going to play a little uh, Price is Right after the uh, break. 
and it may have something to do with Traden's wheelhouse here. He may have an unfair advantage. Oh boy, so stick around for that. Uh, when we come back, it is our fun and games portion of the show. Is BYU basketball with Mark Poe continues. Stick around. We're back in two minutes. Hey, BYU Cougars, let's get it together. BYU Sports Nation is the ultimate place to gather with fellow fans to get your daily dose of BYU sports. Every Monday. Okay, how about every Monday through Friday? On your TV, radio, phone, or favorite streaming device. Get fresh takes, deep blue features, expert analysis, interviews, and all the latest BYU sports news. It's all here for you. BYU Sports Nation. Tune in. Join in. Whether you want to rock your retirement on the court, on the snow, on the waves, or in the gym. At Mountain America, we're here to help you get things rolling. Learn more at macu.com slash retirement. Mountain America, guiding you forward. At BYU, we believe wholeheartedly in expanding joy and that joy comes from learning and serving. Some of the best, most lasting learning happens when we serve, when we experience, when we connect in real, lasting ways. It's what we call inspiring learning. Learning that inspires us to create a better world, to do and be better. After all, light shared is the best kind of light. Presented by Siegfried and Jensen. All right, game show time. Uh, let's hear it. Wow, let's go. Okay, this is Sneakerhead Showdown. It's our version of the Price is Right, shoe version. Um, now, Traden in particular may recognize some of the shoes you're going to be seeing here tonight. For this game, we will show you on the screen a special, a special sneaker. You need to write down what you think the current average resell value is of that shoe, but without going over. Like the price is right, you can't go over. Whoever's closest to the number without going over gets a point. For your information, we've taken our prices from an average listed on the site's StockX, which you're aware of, and Flight Club. You've heard of both of those? You know what they're about. Okay, these are for the size 11 and a half shoe that we're pricing, okay? Sneakerheads will know everything I've just talked about. And Coach Pope, how up to speed were you on all that stuff I just mentioned? Uh, I know StockX very well because we're dear friends with that organization. Okay, okay, here we go. We are gonna throw you a Zoom Kobe 6 Grinch 2010. Now, they have released the Kobe 6 2020, we all know that, uh, but we're going off the 2010 version. Resell value of the Kobe 6 Grinch 2010, the Zoom, Kobe 6 Grinch 2010. And you have the Grinches, don't you? We're you supposed you've to them in game. prices, That's right? What, 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 <laughs> One dollar. Uh, okay, closest without going over. Somebody help me. 1,200? Who said 1,200? I don't know. Is this a, is okay, I, I, since that's Sister Brown, I actually trust you. <laughs> you can't go over, but you can't go under. All right, Jay Mack and Howe, we need your guesses. You've all got them down. We'll ask you all to turn your boards and see where we are here. Okay. I know I won this one. We'll start with, we'll start with uh, Jay Mack. What do you have? It says 450. How? 2500. Oh, how? It's 2010. 900 here <clears throat> and a 1200 here. The closest without going over is Coach Pope. Hey. Hey. But, but how? Look how close how was though. How was very close. $2,413. Not close <laughs> enough. <Hal. laughs> he went over. Coach Pope has a point. Our second shoe. I'm undefeated, aren't I, in the history of Coach Pope? Have I ever lost? You win all these games. Yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> second shoe. We have our Nike Dunk Low Black White also known as the pandas. 
And oh. Whoa. Now these look these look affordable. These look uh, these look these look reasonable. We'll see. Oh. How? You got it? Yeah. Okay. How says be a little high. 130 be for how? Jared. I might be a little high as well. 320? 320. 210 from trade in? Seventy-two dollars and thirteen cents. How was what was yours again? Oh, uh, one thirty. How's the winner? Oh. One hundred eighty-three. Oh. One eighty-three. The pandas. Uh, man, I'm getting embarrassed in my own game. Chinese <laughs> pandas. Hey, you just buy them. Yep. I just buy them. Actually, you've been you've clearly been paying too much for your shoes. <laughs> Number three. Our third shoe is the Nike Dunk Low. Grateful Dead Yellow Bear. The Grateful Dead Yellow Bear. I mean, I'm a big fella. Closest without going over. I need your stuff. Do you look it up? Did you Google it? All right. How? Is that 2,000? Yeah, 2,000. How says 2,000? J Mac? 450. 450. Trading 1,100. And coach, 1,200. Closest without going over was J Mac. Hey, oh. 1,025. Trading, cool. you were really close. 1,025 uh, on those. Big time. You're within 100, but you went over. Went over. All Maybe. right, shoe number four. Maybe I'll be paying too much. Shoe number four is the Nike Jordan. One high Dior. Ooh. That 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 last name just the changed Dior things a little bit. Got yeah. Shit. Yeah. 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 They're gonna be mixed in. What are you talking about, J Mac? <laughs> the Jordan One High Dior. I'm not going under this. Average thing. resale value. How is wrapping up? TC's wrapping up. Coach has his. All right, how? $2,500. J Mac? $1,400. $1,400. Trade in $8,000. And Coach? $4,200. Trade in takes this one. $10,004. I like that. I like that. Hold on a second. He was only doing do you, do you have these? I have the low top. You have the low top wow. version of this shoe. It's slightly slightly less expensive. Yeah. Okay. Six or seven. Oh Ooh. my gosh. <laughs> Kids today. All right. Uh, <laughs> shoe number five. I knew that one was going to be high. By the way, does, you, does everyone have a point at this point? Everyone's won all, I think, at this point. Well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. This is the Jordan 4A Ma Manier. Ma Manier. 800. 800. like 420. 420-ish. Let me see what y'all write. So I can actually get a win. What do y'all write so I can get a win? I don't think it's that expensive, <laughs> though. Uh, All right. Shit, right. Well, what do you have, Hal? 350. 350. Right there. 750. 380. I, I, I am so confident that I'm about to get a win right now. He's about to get a win right now. He's got it. 472 is the correct answer without going over. Coach Pope with his second point. That is courtesy of yeah. Josh Martin, one of the great gospel teachers I've ever met. I kid you not. It's awesome. Bring it. Let's go. All right. Shoe number six. So I think I'm in the lead, guys. He is. He is up. He does the lead. Uh, it's the Air Max 97 Sean Watherspoon. The Air Max 97, Sean Watherspoon. Who is Sean Watherspoon? He's an owner of a store in California. Okay. Well, I was going to ask that, and I was like, am I getting in trouble? I don't know. <laughs> 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 hey, no coffee. Right <laughs> I'm guessing there's only like four of these in the world. Okay. All right. Coach still writing. <laughs> Coach is taking his cues. All totally legal. Uh, how? 1,300. 1,300. 
I like that guess. J Mac, 1100. I like that guess less. Uh, Trade in, 1350. And coach? This is courtesy of the Archibald Twins. <laughs> 1100. This one's going to TC at 1733. Ooh, TC, let's go. Uh, closest without going over. So Coach Pope two, TC two, and then J Mac and Hal one apiece. All right, shoe number seven. Taking this one. This is the Jordan one off white Chicago. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, man. He's going to be elated on there. The Jordan one off white Chicago. How much? I'd pay like 5K, but. I think it's worth more than that. I'm going back to the well, baby. I'm going back to the well. All right. <laughs> How? How says three thousand dollars. J Mac. $4,500. $6,200. We're going up and up and up. $5,000. TC gets another win at $7,106. So TC with three. Coach Pope with two. One apiece. We're going to go to our final shoe right now. This is our final shoe. You can either lock it down, TC. You can tie for the win. This is the SB Dunk Low Paris. And these are size 11s because the 11 and a halfs were not available. Oh. So these are the 11s of the SB Dunk Low Paris. Trade in three, coach two, J Mac and Hal one apiece. <laughs> what a great. What you put? I don't know. I said 12,000. I said it's way more than that. 12? I heard 12. You might win it, but I might be a little too high. Might be over. Okay. Oh, that's way too high. And just, just FYI, we have one more shoe if we need a tiebreaker. Right. If we need a tiebreaker. Okay? So, right. what do we have for the SB Dunk Low Paris How? Uh, 1,500. 1,500. 12,000. 12,000. What? $96,000. Uh, he, yeah, he's super confident. So, J Mac, you had 12 grand? Yeah, yeah. Little, what, what do you have here? Close. 11 grand. Now, might now, here's the thing. TC was closest but went way over. But these are still crazy expensive. $69,000 oh, and, and five. So, J Mac, that's technically a, a point for you. So it goes TC three, coach two, J Mac two, and Hal one. And so TC wins it, I think. No, I thought we had another. We had to go with the last question. We got to go with the last one. Well, that was only if we needed a tiebreaker. Well, we're tied. Me and J Mac are tied. Okay. <laughs> we do one more? One more. We'll do one more. Okay, this is our last shoe. Is it a great one? I think it's a pretty, it's the Air Force One Tiffany. This is the Air Force One Tiffany. <laughs> All right. Are you sure? <laughs> How dong, what do you have? $5,200. dollars nineteen hundred dollars I got it. It's crazy. TC, 1800 I tell you that, baby. Let's go. <laughs> J-Mac. Uh, J-Mac is the winner on this one. $2,002. Let's go. $2,002. Big time. Okay, we got to do, do one more shoe. Okay, so what that ended up doing was creating a three-way tie with three. And so, no, Emma. I only have two. Me and Howe are on a team, though. No, that's right, too. <laughs> We're tied up, bro. <laughs> okay, this is the, the, the last shoe. We so promise the winner this. gets those Paris shoes, right? Doesn't the winner get the Paris shoes? Uh, we're going to need a ru ruling from Hema on that one. <laughs> I like that. So what are, what are the scores actually at here? Traden, you had three. 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 Okay. Coach had two. Two. Uh, Jared had two as well. Three. What about this last Jared one? You have three. three yeah. So it's, it's, it's Traden and Jared with three apiece. So let's just do one between the two of them for the win. Like is that okay? It, yeah. Okay, just you two guys. All right, this is the last shoe, just for the two of you to tie it. Break a tie. <laughs> that is awesome. That's an actual shoe? That's an actual shoe. Cactus Nike. plant. This is called the Nike ah. Cactus Plant Flea Market.
I like these. Size 11 and a half? Go crazy, all right? <laughs> this is the Nike CPFM Cactus Plant Flea Market. Okay. What you going with? <laughs> and they call this the overgrown version, just for the uh, for the record. All right. All right, I'm gonna trust them. This I'm is for the win. J Mac, what do you have? I got 500. You got 500. 400. And closest without going over, trade in Christensen oh, at 450. Nicely done. Well done. Oh,